Hey guys, Kaja here and welcome back to another Diecast review. Now today we are reviewing the second one of my two new cars that I've purchased. Um, this one being Intro Ramon, as you can see. Um, like the um, McQueen I reviewed yesterday, I didn't have a clue that he was even coming out um, at this uh, moment. I thought they were out for next year. But I've like, recently, since yesterday, found out they were the uh, Toys R Us exclusive ones. Um, just to show you the Prime and McQueen one here, if you did see yesterday's review, if you didn't, make sure you go watch that one after this. Um, I'll just take them off there. But yeah, today we're reviewing Intro Ramon. Um, I'm pretty sure he's the only one with really different differences, because I know Fillmore's got a different expression than Sally, like I said yesterday, it looks more like the Precision series one. Um, but So this is from this and the Prime and McQueen, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're the only um, ones that are obviously different in being like different paint jobs. Um, and obviously being just in cars free, not in any other sort of look. But I think once I like flow, all the same stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so he obviously, Ramon, like I just said, he was in the, um, rad when they went back to Radiator Springs after the crash, we see McQueen in his primer stage and all the townies again. So I think the, what they're kind of doing here, this series is all from when McQueen went back to Radiator Springs for that short while in the film, um, which is pretty cool, I guess. So it's all for that part of the film. Um, but I don't really know too much to say about um, him really. He sort of sprays McQueen in this um, in this paint job. Uh, he doesn't have it all the way through as you can imagine. He changes to the Florida Ramon, which you can only get in the mini version right now. And then he changes to this like retro racer sort of look at the end when they're at like Willie's Butte and that, um, which is pretty cool. Um, as for the packaging, it is the same as the McQueen with the sort of Willie's Butte sort of track there. Um, intro Ramon, it's got a bit another language there, and Radiator Springs and like a wood effect, um, Mattel, all that sort of stuff. Disney Pixar is pretty much this part is normal, and then this part is not. <laughs> um, I think yeah, this has tape as well, yep. <laughs> got all the normal stuff, so it's 2017 rather than 2016, like some of the Cars Free cars. And we have Ramon there, Intro Ramon, as you can see there. Um, but see, there's not too much on the box, obviously, but there never is with international packaging. Um, but yeah, let's get him out of the packaging so we can talk about him in more depth. All right, then, guys, so now we have him out of the packaging, I can easily say that he is definitely by far my favourite Ramon out of every single Ramon we have. Um, I just love the fact that he now has white all tyres. The blue is a really nice blue, and the, de sort of the decals are is actually really nice. It's sort of a bit different. Um, so that's very cool. I do. This is definitely, like I said, probably my favourite Ramon out at the moment. Um, I know the Ramon body shape did change. They introduced that it's more square at the back, as you can see. It's not very really rounded, um, and I think the front is slightly different as well. I think they introduced this with the green Ramon, with like the paint gun from Cars Two. Can't remember what that was called, but it says it's got that new sort of changed body shape there. It has a brand new expression as well. Um, I don't. I don't really have any screenshots of uh, Ramon in this stage but like I said he is just appears in that short moment when he sort of says to McQueen about respraying him um, and you see him obviously as McQueen is going into the um, uh, well into Mac off to the Rusty Racing Centre um, which is obviously where he trains um, but yeah like I said um, favourite Ramon I know I keep going on about kind of not really know really what to say about Ram this Ramon to be honest apart from I guess we should just get on to the proper review of him all right so as we come off to the start here obviously he is a 1964 no not 64 I don't know 1960 uh, maybe five Impala or something like that can't quite remember and it probably says yeah Chevrolet Impala but I'm, I'm not too sure what year Maybe even 1966. I'm not too sure. Some maybe some of you might know, um, but he is definitely an Impala. Um, he has um, his grill here, which covers the lights, which is very nice. And we have his mouth. We have his sort of like I don't really know what you'd class as. Maybe like hood ornaments or grills, which are meant to sort of look like mustaches, which are pretty cool. We have this sort of like dark purple black sort of color as well on the hood and you can see the paint glistens there we have the two silver bits which are raised as well that's very cool and we have that same sort of style in on the roof too and we have his eyes there nice blue eyes with a sort of like cool i don't know not angry but sort of like cool expression um as we go on to the side here we've got like this bluey dark bluey purpley sort of color all the way across it's very cool there 
Uh, we have his white wood tires as well, which is very nice, like I said earlier. I don't know if it's gonna. No, really, I have to have it all the way over there for it to actually do anything. There we go. They look very nice indeed. Very, very cool. Um, it's sort of like on the wheel arches, which do actually stick out a bit at the back. It's got more glue here. Got when well, the lines go less. And we have the silver once again here, silver trim for his windows, we have his little lights down here which are black. Um, we have the blue sort of colour again with the silver trim. And then we have low and slow with his custom licence sort of plate holder. And his two big lights and more of the chrome there as well. Um, I, don't, I don't really like the, how square it is on the back now because it's not realistic to the actual car. But that doesn't matter too much. And then the same thing on the other side. Uh, on the base is grey sort of thing. It's like grey. It's sort of like, I don't know, it's not, not a light grey. You can't really tell too much. But I think McQueen is a bit of a grey as well. As you can tell there. They've both sort of got grey bases, which is quite cool. A little bit lighter than normal ones. Um, but yeah, just says Chevrolet, Disney Pixar, made in China, and all the normal codes. You've got his two exhausts here, which sort of come out of the back. You can kind of see if you look hard there. Uh, but yes, we're here for um, Ramon. Um, he's, like I said, he's a very, very cool Ramon. It's obviously intro Ramon because he's in the, in the intro. Um, tell me what your favourite Ramon is. But like I said, this is my favourite one. I keep running out of things to say. I don't really know what to say about him, to be honest. Apart from it's a really cool car. And if you do see him, I would recommend getting this for Ramon. But um, yeah, anyway guys, thank you for watching this review. I'm just going to bring in Prime of McQueen there as well to end it off. There we go. Thank you all for watching this review guys. As always, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notification bell so you never miss another review. As always, I'll see you in the next review guys.